I encourage you to do this with your family as well, not just your spouse or partner, but with your family, If you, with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your extensive uh, family. Just find something positive to say and compliment them. You have the power to change your you, atmosphere. You have the choice and the power to change that atmosphere. Will you make that choice? Holy crap, Shadow just farted. Oh my gosh! so bad! <laughs> oh my gosh! Shadow, go away! She has so serious cast. You stinking dog! <laughs> go away! She literally came over here to sit and fart next to us. It smells so bad. Don't blow it to me! <laughs> <coughs>tiny Trevor's it's like last for like a second and then it goes away it's like a big jerking earthquake I wonder if another one's gonna happen I'm like I should turn the camera on just in case a big one happens while I'm recording good morning minion family that's right I'm a big loving supportive family you guys are how you doing I love you guys Three small jerking earthquakes. Interesting. Watch, as soon as I turn the camera off, a big one's gonna happen. Okay, it's kind of gotten us, he's just chillaxing, uh, shadows running everywhere, but it's like a bunch of booms. It'll be like a boom shake, stop. Seconds later, it'll be like a boom shake, stop. I'm wondering if a bigger one's coming, cause it's not like really, it's like really tiny small tremors right at the surface. And Shadow's like running around thinking that somebody's hitting the, our house. But I just posted on Facebook and other people are feeling it. So it's definitely little small earthquakes. It's a bunch of booms kind of thing. I'm just waiting for the bigger one to happen. Or uh, we just might have small tremors all day. I don't know. We'll wait for to see what USGS sh says. So apparently they weren't, it wasn't earthquakes. They're mystery booms is what we call it here in our county. Looking on Facebook. So it's something like military thrown away. Disposing of like dynamite materials or something like that. And it's felt throughout our whole county. It's been happening the last few years. And usually happens around springtime. But it is nice and warm out. Right now I have my door open. So maybe that's what it was is... Um, we call them mystery booms here in our county. So that's probably what it was. It probably wasn't It wasn't an earthquake. It was those mystery booms. So technically some sort of disposing of materials uh, that the military disposes of. I mean, if you Google like Hawthorne testing, um, and it's kind of like bombs or dynamites going off and the whole ground shakes. So I think that's what it was. So what do you do when you're tired and you just want to go home and your wife texts you and says, I need you to pick up broccoli and creamer. You go pick up broccoli and creamer, right? Is it really Groundhog Day already? Oh my goodness. Either way, as tired as I felt, guess what? I couldn't leave the store without surprising my wife much as I hate it with some of these that's right let's go see what kind of concoction she's using for half and half creamer and broccoli so guys I made some cream of broccoli soup for dinner tonight I used like uh, chicken broth half and half creamer to salt and pepper broccoli and that's pretty much it and a little bit of flour to make its thickness but you guys, it turned out so delicious. I was in the mood for soup. In fact, I want another bowl because it still sounds delicious. Babe, how do you think of the broccoli soup? What'd you think? I think for your first time making it, it was outstanding. I made it my first time. It's actually my mama's recipe. And I've always, always adored my mom's cream of broccoli soup. And she would always make it for me. Except for hers was a little bit different. I think she put onion and bacon in it. I did not put onion and bacon in this one. And hers was a little bit thinner. It wasn't so much flour. So I may make it thinner next time because this seems a little bit too thick to me. But it turned out really good. So I just have to experiment with it to see if, uh, you know, if it'll 
get closer to my mom's recipe because my mom's uh, cream of broccoli is delicious. So maybe next time I make it, I'll put mushrooms, onions, and bacon in it. Um, and not, and Ronnie will have to find his own dinner. What? I will take it for lunch tomorrow, most definitely. That's what I'm talking about. How you doing? So today we are going to be talking about the negatives and the positives in marriage. In a marriage. See, so many times. Well, first, since Mel had so many stories for another time. Oh, I had so many stories. I realized I kept interrupting him. Ugh! We're just gonna do that just, just for a minute. We tend to focus on the negatives and not the positives. So a negative would be, I come home from a hard day's work and the house isn't clean. But then the beautiful wife made dinner. Well, she's supposed to clean or make dinner. Here's an example. Today, after a hard day's work and I'm tired and I even went to the gym, she texts me and says, I need you to go to the store. I need you to get some creamer and a, and a half pound of broccoli. I'm like, what you, you know, I could be thinking, what'd you do all day? You couldn't have went to the store and did that yourself. So since my wife said so many negative things about me today, the duct tape is going to serve a great purpose. Now, focus on the positive. Let me give you an example, women. So we come home grocery shopping. Men, if you go out grocery shopping and you're carrying bags, right? Bags of groceries. And I got three bags here and three bags there. And then my wife says, how in the world did you do that? I could never do that. And you know what that's gonna do? Even if I don't wanna help her carry in groceries. Mm -hmm. It's gonna build, build, it's gonna build. I can't kiss my muscles. You can't kiss my muscles? It's gonna build my ego. Oh baby, you're, yeah, I can't reach this on the top shelf, even if you don't want to get up out of the chair. If you learn to compliment, and I know it may sound a little bit like manipulation, but it's how you get things done. Oh, baby, man, the last time you vacuumed and I was just sitting there watching you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, nice and easy. Ow! That hurts. Ow! Whoa, where's all go. this hair? That's that's not mine. <laughs> oh, that hurt. I think we just gave myself a job, a mustache job. A lot of times, uh, marriages end up in fights because of the negatives that you speak oh, to each yes. other. We have a lot of experience with this because for a long time, we were very negative with each other and stopped focusing on the positive. We really had to sit down and look over the, these things due to the fact that Elijah, when he was battling, we come to the realization that these things are no longer as important as a precious life. And that we found out that, that we were fighting over some really petty things. Like if I leave the table right now, move over. See that? How dirty it is? You know? And we're not, okay. And we're not necessarily saying the cleanliness of a house or the jobs that we do in a house, but n maybe talking about each other to each other. Like he would, you know, instead of saying, you know, that outfit doesn't look right on you or you look fat in the outfit, which he's never said, by the way, is something that you got to think twice about saying to your spouse. It's good to have honesty, but then at the same time, it's also caring about their feelings. Listen, maybe that right, that, that dress doesn't do you justice because I know what kind of body you have. Kind of, you know how the how that kind of situation kind of changes. And when I see you in this dress, oh yeah, oh, see the yeah, difference. Baby. Instead of saying, "Oh, you look really disgusting in that dress," you know, so it's it's a matter of fact of trying to reword and reprocess the words. It, it's so true that pride does come before the fall. When my pride comes up, I worked all day, and why didn't she do this or why didn't she do that? And guess what? And then all you do is focus on the negative. See. That is another thing we can talk about maybe at another time, but about how men are completely different than women. When he talks about positive and negatives, he's talking about the pleasures of the flesh, whether it's sexual to cleaning the house to 
money, financial, those kinds making of things. Dinner. Making dinner, food. Me is more of emotional, the compliments and the. So men and women are hugely different in the way they process things, and that's where we need to find a balance. I can I can say that I appreciate him every single day for going to work every single day and working as hard as he does and he loves those types of compliments it makes him feel special makes him feel appreciated as whereas I would rather have a compliment on how beautiful I am or thank you for doing the dishes today something positive then one of the number one things we need to work in a marriage especially after so long in a marriage is the stop I mean, we like to fun bicker, but really actually bickering. Those things are really not that big of a deal. Life is so precious. Take it to less extremes. Find the good. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to cross the line to a point where there is no return because then you both regret saying things and getting a massive fight over something but it's so small. Sad and, and it's so hard. You, you know, can't take it back. It's hard to take back and it is. forget. And I mean, we've been through the ringer several times in the last 18 years on stupid little things, man. He doesn't yell at me for not cleaning out the litter box anymore. However, I have picked up the job quite a lot. So. And that was a hey. We have been <laughs> in some major fights about that, just because I wanted it done and I didn't want to have to do it. Well, he did it for six years. He took over the job of cleaning out their litter box while I was at the hospital. So, but why thank would that you. start fights? That's so I, petty. Exactly. So, thank you for taking over the housewife job. I'll just poop on her bed. It does so gross. That is not a prank. Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, actually. Listen, it is so important. Even when if you're arguing and and fighting and things haven't been going good, try to find the positive in something let them know how good and see how that changes I encourage you to do this with your family as well not just your spouse or partner but with your family if you with your mom your dad your brother your sister your extensive uh, family just find something positive to say and compliment them because it changes the whole atmosphere it makes you think oh my gosh this person's actually being nice to me uh, what is wrong with you? Yes. It changes everything. And there is an atmosphere, so remember that, whether it be a negative or a positive, and you, you have the power to change your you, atmosphere. You have the choice and the power to change that atmosphere. Will you make that choice for the, for the one that you potentially said, I'll love you forever till death do us part. So, we have a big, big tip coming tomorrow. I mean, throughout the whole month, but this next one is one that I failed miserably on many times, and I've learned not to. So, just make sure you stay tuned tomorrow to get this very important tip. Hey, we want to throw a big shout out to another patron, Fresh Baked Disney. Hey, they've been really big supporters of us, and we appreciate David and Sarah and the whole Fresh Baked team to continue to support us through Patreon. They are great friends of ours, and I will be seeing them next month. Mm-hmm. Oh. If that's not a clue and you don't get it, then I'm sorry. I'm not explaining anymore. Jesus, I love you.